our students, Brian Proctor, the art teacher, back again with another video. And this time we're going to do an unboxing because I got a package, so I want to unbox it. Why not? So truth be told, I had this um, uh, December, in December, it was like after Christmas, I decided to buy me something. I bought everybody else something, so I decided to buy me something. So it's been sitting on the shelf since December. I never opened it. Not because I didn't want to open it. It's just because I really don't have space in my room for it. So I looked at it and I said, why am I leaving that in the box? Go ahead and open it up and, you know, use it, love it, show it, whatever. So I'm going to open this up today. And this is the Halo Spartan Athlon from Kotobukiya. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the front of the box. Let's show off the box a little bit. This is the front of the box side of the box this is a nice little position right here this is good for drawing and this is one reason why i bought it because of uh reference this is perfect detail stuff because i i'm a sci-fi fan i love robots and stuff like that so you know armor so i mean you can always get reference parts or you know just you know snatch a little bit from somebody else's drawings just a little bit and this is a double box and I'll, I'll open this in a second yeah so, so you have here it's a nice little box and it opens up like that. This is the first time I've seen something like this because instead of just one piece, they have like two things. You have the body and then you have the armor. So I have to figure out how to open this up somehow. So when I figure out how to open it up, I guess it's from the bottom. So let me open it up and I have to put it together. And for some strange reason, I don't know why you had to put it together, but I guess it just makes it a little more funner to when you have to put it together yourself give you a little bit more out of your money and this was i think it's i want to say now at this point it's like 79 dollars on um amazon I, I don't remember how much i paid because i said it was back in december so let's open this thing up and take this out i might have to cut it a little bit because i don't want this video to be too long So slide out the body, and then you have the Xbox. Don't need that. And then this other side. Let me get it open. <clears throat> Come on, time is money. There we go. Put it down. Pull it out. And I think these are the instructions on how to put it together. So I'll put this to the side and then bring these guys in and put it together. And this is an eight inch figure. And it's not so much a figure, it's more statue than a figure because it doesn't all move. So you have little pieces here that you put together. I'll put that to the side. And then let's start out with the body. It's got a little bit of weight to it, a little bit of weight. It's nice, sturdy plastic. And the one thing about this, let me move this out the way. And um, let me zoom in so you can see it better. I think that's as far as I can go in. The legs don't move on this. The legs do not move on this, just your arms. You have this far down, this, and... It doesn't rotate so you only get a few poses out of this and of course this tilts just a little bit your the torso and it I would barely say it goes forward you know what that couple millimeters does nothing so basically you just have your arms so you can position it and what was weird about it it was just when I first saw it it was like they had this little weird arch to it but I guess it's part of the um, pose they had to have it so it can stand up right and I will actually pose it and take a couple pictures of some certain poses so we have that let's since I'm still close up let's take this armor out see what we have somebody just jumped out right here this little piece which I have no idea what that little piece is I think it might be good for the shoulder all right so let's start with the the helmet come out Nice little helmet. 
nice designs for that. And there is, it is clear glass, but there is this little piece right here that you put inside the helmet to give it that blue, like you couldn't see. You put it inside to give it that blue tint. So I'm just gonna pull this out for now and then just open it up. This is his chest armor. And I know there's a plate. One of these two plates go on the chest and then the armor goes on top of that. So I'm just gonna pull them all out for the time being and then put them together for the sake of time. But you know, you got left, you got right and left. So I don't want to pull them out too much. And okay, so at the bottom, we have your metal plate. Another thing that I like about this is it's taped. You have your guns, gun, metal plate, and then it's taped. So where did my scissors go? All right, so here we have some hands. Let me pull it out of the plastic because there's a lot of glare for me to see. I'll just peel it out, peel it. Oh, so satisfying. And we have the metal plate. The feet was the feet. The feet are actually magnetic. I don't want to pull back and pull forward and pull back. They have a little magnet right here, so it sticks to that plate. And I do like that because a lot of statues or figures don't have that, and they slide when you try to put them. But this thing it sticks to that plate. It sticks to that plate. All right, so let me put this thing together now that I have all the pieces out. All right, so here we are so far, uh, and this is a little extra chest piece. We have a bigger one and a smaller one. I, I opted out for the bigger one because he's been going to the gym. So majority of the, the, the work has been done. Let me zoom in again so you guys can get a closer look. All right, so chest piece, and I think this snaps together. It comes apart and snaps together. If I'm not mistaken, it does. Um, yeah, let's put the chest piece on. This is the front. I guess this, there's a nice R on there for right and left. Is this upside down? How does this go? Look at the picture. Definitely doesn't go that way. All right, so goes in. Back piece, nice little. Uh, jetpack looking thing that goes on goes on and it snaps in probably the easiest part to actually put on these thighs and these little leg parts were just crazy hard all right so let's work on the helmet which is the most important piece next to the hands take this little piece out give them that blue I guess you, you don't have to give them the blue tint but then you see through it well you can't even you can't see the face anyway but I give them the blue tint because you know, it's like sunglasses. So that just plugs in and there are different angles of, you can see that, yeah, the way that some of them are made so you can't really mess up. It goes up in there all the way. And I was, a couple of times I thought I was gonna break this thing having to get these little sockets in there. And his head snaps on, scary part. I don't like ball joints because you can break them. Okay, so that's on now. 
To me, that neck is a little high, but I didn't design it, and it is on all the way. So at this point, let's figure out guns, guns, hands. Let's pull this gun out. Gun is really detailed. It's one good thing about this. You can't get this stuff out if you don't want it to come out, except for that one piece that tried to escape earlier. All right. Turn it upside down. Push it out like that. All right. Gun is like really detailed. To be honest, I never really did like the Halo weapons. Not that gun. I thought they could have had like a more massive type of gun for fighting, you know, creatures like they were fighting. But again, I didn't design it. So, um, what we got? We got, we got a couple fists. Of course, you always get you always get a couple fists. Let's get pop these out. I can keep them without them flying away. Come on, come on. I like to keep my boxes because most times if I move again, which I plan on moving, no time soon, I do plan on moving to another house, bigger house. Um, I like to put stuff in boxes, put them back in the original boxes. That way one day if I actually decide to move, move or sell these things, then I'll have the original boxes to go on. So this is the trigger finger. I'm gonna put his gun in his hand. So I'm gonna snap that on. Comes, went on easy, surprising. And I guess it's this hand here, which holds his gun. And it's not a ball joint, it's just a, that makes me nervous, it's just a little peg. And sometimes these things break easier than the little ball joints. So if I take it and I put his gun in his hand, Will you hold the gun without breaking? I don't know. Let's take his hand off and see what happens. And this is the thing about toys that have guns. There you go. You're afraid it might break because they don't slide on too good. And if I can get his hand back in. Okay, so we got that. Is that gun supposed to be on there? The gun is on the inside. Yep, his hand just came off. This just came off too. Okay, so losing points here, losing points. That's why it's not really an action figure. It is, it's more of a statue. It's just meant to be posed in a couple positions. Not too many positions. So this hand will turn up. Let's get this back in. So there you have it with, I'll put his, put his little shoulder piece back on, Brian. All right, what's up and what's down? They should have gave another number other than eight. That way you can tell which, which, one is up, which way is up, which way is down. Like six, six would have been a nine, so there you go. I don't like this, it's really bending that little peg piece from his hand really really bending it so like after about a couple months of being bent like that it could probably break so I don't know see because it actually is bent a little bit already so let's take the gun out off of his out of his hand And let's try, we got the two fists. It would've been nice to have him holding his gun, but you know, at, I don't remember how much I paid, but it's $79 now, so let's just say $79. At $79, I don't wanna replace this on the first day out of the box. 
So he's just gonna be like, and his chest armor just popped off. One hundred percent review. No fakes, no fake reviews here. And there you go, here you go. And I was thinking about taking some nice pictures with the gun, but he doesn't move that much. So I'll still see if I can take a couple pictures just because nice pose. And then of course the stand, which is metal. Uh, he's got two mag, one in the front and one in the back. That's why it's sliding. But it does, it holds, it does hold. He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Even with my table tilted down and his his lean, his his, his lean. I guess that's why he had to, they had to twist his body to lean him. So, what is that other hand for? This is a. I think they had the sword, the covenant little blade that they were supposed to hold. I know the other statue has it. The other suit has it. And I was crazy enough to order the other two. I don't know why. Spending money. So let me take this over to my little bootleg photo studio and then see if I can take a couple of good pictures. Nothing twists. The waist doesn't twist about that much you know but you know what is that what is that so yeah take a couple, couple good pictures but it is detailed it is very detailed i do like the detail that they put on this armor and as i said it could definitely be used as a reference for drawings And I know the other armor just went here and it doesn't cover up the back of that. It didn't, it looked kind of weird to me. So yeah, let's see if I can get some, some action photos for you guys. All right. All right, there you have my review of the Spartan Athlon Halo from Kotobukiya. Um, as much as I tried, I could not get that hand to not forcefully hold that gun. It would bend this peg, so I didn't even try. So, yeah, I decided to do some action shots in my ghetto action studio. Hopefully you liked it. If you liked it, I'll do some more because I still, as I said, I have some more statues coming and I have an Iron Man statue that I have had since I had this. I think the Iron Man came first, then this came first. And last night I ordered some two more of these different with the different suits. So let me know if you like the action shots and I'll do more and I can maybe work out some more doing some other figures as well. All right, that's gonna be it because you know me, I will ramble. And um, yeah, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Tell a friend, you know, the whole nine yards. And remember, if you're not having fun doing it, it's not fun to do. Don't do it. All right, that's, that's it. You got to go to work. You got to go to school. You got to do a lot of things you don't like. But yeah, that's it. See you guys in the next video.